three years ago, an aggressive tumour in Robin af Eckenstam's wrist threatened to spread to other parts of his body. So doctors amputated his right hand. He now wears an electric hook, which responds to his muscle movements. It works, but has limited functions. This could be a radical new solution, an artificial hand that can actually feel. It's been developed by teams in Italy and Sweden. The hand has four motors and 40 sensors, and will be directly linked to the brain. A team of surgeons in Sweden attached the new hand to Robin in a complicated procedure that linked up nerve endings in his arm to tiny receptors in the robotic hand. And this is the result. It's great. I have a feeling that I've not had for a long time. Now I'm getting sensation back. When I grab something tightly, then I can feel it in the fingertips, which is strange as I don't have them anymore. It's fantastic. Robin's brain is picking up the sensors in the hand, and the hand is receiving signals from the brain. It means, once again, he can touch and feel. The scientists developing the hand say it's already taken 10 years to get to this stage, but say they are a major advance on existing prosthetic limbs. First, the brain will control them without any muscle contractions. Secondly, these hands will be able to give back feedback and give, and so that the patient will be able to feel, to feel what's going on on the outside world by touching. Just like a real hand? Just like a real hand. The team says the next stage could be an implantable version, which stays permanently attached to the arm and the brain. They're calling it the smart hand, and it's believed to be the first artificial device to come close to replacing a human limb all part of the pioneering world of bioengineering, where medicine meets mechanics. And it's giving people like Robin the function <laughs> and feeling they thought had been lost forever. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, in Tuscany.